2022 to God be the glory for one wonderful day. I'm not sure if today is the first complete day of summer or is it tomorrow, but happy summer like day going into the 100s and I hope you stay cool and stay happy and stay joyful in the Lord's strength. You can't do it on your own, but he has the resources to replenish your pleasure. And that has something to do with what is, uh, well, the first verse of Kings, well, King David is speaking about this scripture in Psalms 21, the first verse. It says, the king shall joy in thy strength. Oh, don't we love when we see that word joy as a verb. We know that the joy of the Lord is our strength. And we know that he replenishes it day and night. And it's it's the element that will sustain us through hard times. But we know that joy is also something that is active. And I'm trying to look for a Habakkuk where it describes that although our situation might be bleak, we might not have this, we might not have that, uh, our garage, our barns, our bank account is empty, right? <laughs> and that's Habakkuk 317. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, we might not have the resources that we might have had before. Neither shall fruit be in thy vines, the labor of thy olive shall fail and the field shall yield no meat resources are low they're talking about a, a looming recession Woo! and the field shall yield no meat the flock shall be cut off from the fold and there shall be no herd in the stalls but what are we to do yet we will rejoice in the lord sing sing a song right that's back from the carpenters even though this is black music month there were so many black African-American artists who sang that song, Patti LaBelle, I think Kathleen Battle, through the years. So when you're feeling sad and when you, you are in a situation where it seems like it's bleak, that you're going into a, a, a period of scarcity, you better pull out a song or make a song. Because the next verse says, I will joy in the God of my salvation. I will joy. There goes that verb, joy. So make sure that it's active because the Lord God is my strength, your strength. And he will make my feet like hinds feet, right? He will make you to go to new territories and new places as we put our trust in him. Yes, he will... Make me to walk upon my own preordained, your own preset high places. Yes, to the chief singer on my stringed instruments. You're the chief singer today. You are the one. You might not have a stringed in instrument, but you have a song in your soul. Take it out. Take it out, out of your heart. Encourage yourself in the Lord because he has done great things. In the last verse of Psalms 21, be Thou exalted, O Lord, in thine own strength. Yes, the strength that he gives us. So will we sing and praise thy power. So like I said, it's something about finding the source of your joy and strength. A lot of times we find our source in something that has to constantly be reset and refilled. And sometimes that element is not readily available or accessible, right? Anything outside of God being the source, we set ourselves up for serious disappointment. We, we set ourselves up for serious disillusionment and depression, pretty much. The dopamine, that hormone that's in the brain that has to constantly, that, that's a pleasure hormone. You know, we get pleasure from maybe a certain food, maybe being with a certain person, maybe a certain activity, shopping, gambling, whatever. But when we can't get that and we see that it's very costly, it's very expensive, uh-uh. This is, this is not conducive to continual 
rejoicing and continual calm. In Ezekiel 41, the angel, the messenger of God is showing Ezekiel the temple and he's giving different measurements and different dimensions of different elements, the chambers, the porches, the doors. Well, in verse 22 of Ezekiel 21, this is the table that is before the Lord. We want to be that element that is before the Lord. He is the one who will continually recharge us, refill us with his joy, which is our strength. Let him be our only source today and none other. For that's how you get continual satisfaction. Thank you, Father, that you have laid out the table before us, even in the presence of our enemies. You will anoint our head with oil and our cup will run over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and will dwell in your presence, in your house forevermore. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.